We got new information about the upcoming Marvel Rivals, and this game now sounds like it could be a massive hit. Yep. What did you do, Rack Nation? I'm back with Super News, bringing you the latest superhero news in five minutes or less, because I respect your time if you subscribe. So if this information was valuable, hit the like button so it will reach more people. But if it wasn't for you, change it to a dislike. So gaming insider Kurakasis, after previously leaking the title of Marvel 1943 Rise of Hydra days before the official announcement and trailer, shocked. Shocker! everyone by dropping another Marvel related scoop. This time about a new Marvel game set to be revealed this year called Marvel Rivals. The game is reportedly being developed by NetEase, the massive Chinese gaming company that is mostly known for their popular mobile games, which include Marvel Super War and Duel, which they made as part of a deal they signed to make new Marvel projects back in 2019. NetEase recently showed they were moving beyond just mobile based games when they revealed the gorgeous open world action game where wins meet, which looks like a more stylized Ghost of Tsushima, but based on Chinese lore. Kurakasis believed Marvel Rivals would be the AAA multiplayer first person shooter coming to console, PC and mobile that was first revealed by a job posting in 2019 since he wasn't aware of any other unannounced Marvel project from NetEase. But according to an exclusive report from news site The Streamer, this is actually a very different Marvel game being developed by the Chinese developer. The game is reportedly a 6v6 third person not first person, hero shooter in the style of Overwatch based on screenshots a source shared privately with the streamer. The art design of the game is similar to Valorant instead of something more realistic like Marvel's Avengers. The streamer confirmed the Marvel project will be available on PC and believes the game will be made available for console as well. The streamer was also given a list of some of the Marvel characters we could see in the game and it includes an impressive variety of both huge and lesser known characters like Thor, Scarlet which Spider-Man, the Punisher, Namor, but my enemies call me Namor, Penny Parker, and even Magic, who was recently featured in Marvel's Midnight Suns. He was told the cosmetics would not affect gameplay to avoid a pay to win situation and will include skins like steampunk Iron Man. Each character will have their own unique abilities and powers, with Storm, Scarlet Witch, Loki, and Namor currently being the most overpowered. Though they couldn't confirm the name Marvel Rivals, they have knowledge of at least two mission types. One will be an escort type where players will need to take a convoy to a location the rider was not allowed to reveal and the other will be king of the hill where you will need to control a territory he expects more game modes will be added later in the game's development cycle so far the streamer confirmed odin's vault in a real world city that is not new york will be one of the maps and there will also be a named island from the comic books but quote not the one we're thinking of i believe most marvel fans would think of madripoor or genosha first so one one of them or maybe something like the x-men base called utopia or island m environmental destruction will reportedly be a big part of the gameplay requiring you to destroy parts of the map with the abilities and weapons of your characters the game is said to be in their pre-alpha stage of development which means it's four phases away from release but their source told them the game will be released within the next year which would make sense if they are planning a 2024 announcement so 2025 is shaping up to be a potentially bigger year in gaming than even 2023. But if you're a fan of Marvel games and can't wait until 2025, there's still some 2024 content to look forward to thanks to Spider-Man 2 DLC. I'll break that down in the next video on screen.